Hi, this is Christian. So in this uh, video, we're going to uh, create an algorithm to perform what's called an in-place operation. So an in-place algorithm is a technique to transform or change the data without adding or incurring any additional extra memory spaces. And this time we'll use a, another algorithm called just basically, you know, simple math addition subtraction stuff. So let's create this first. Boy, we'll call it in place, um, add subtract, okay? And integer, and, and so, okay, for this operation to work, basically it's quite simple. And this is another, I guess you can say, pure um, in place operation. How does it work? If you want to swap the 10 and 50, okay, how do you do that? If you think about this, if I replace this position here by adding 50 to 10, right? If I do, let's say n of zero, it's equal to uh, n of zero plus n of the last one will be four, right? So basically if I do that, I get a 60, okay? This is 60, good. So now how do I change that one? So I'm gonna go n of the last one, in this case is four, it's equal to the n of zero, uh, subtract itself, so n of four. If I do that, what do I get? I got a 10, okay? So now 10 is now replaced right here. So this is now replaced with a 10, and this is now replaced with a 60 already. So how do I get that 50 back over here? Well, same thing, right? Similar, you get n of zero, is equal to the n of zero, subtract n of the fourth position, I get my 50 back. I just swap my 50 and my 10 without incurring any additional memory space. Okay, so this is another really a nice example. You can do subtract first and then uh, you can add it uh, and then subtract it back. It's just a really simple math operation. All right, so uh, for every, and I, I less than the end that length by two, and then I plus plus. Okay, what I did were here is basically divided by two, okay? Because again, just to make sure you understand why, I just wanna do halfway, right? Once you do halfway, you already swap everything, you don't have to go through all the way of the, of the array. And that's not necessary. So now, we wanna do is gonna get the end of the zero position, which is I, equal to n of i plus n of the last position. That's the n of the length of one, okay? M minus one minus i, right? You plus that. And now that's 60, okay? And then n of the last position, length minus one minus i is equal to, um, too many, I think equal to the, um, n of the first position, which is i, minus its current position, n of the length, minus one, minus i, and we get our n number back, which is now a 10, okay? And then finally, we do it um, the other way around, i uh, is now equal to the uh, n of i, subtract, the n of the n dot length minus one minus i. Okay, I think that's it. So let's give it a try and see if this works. So let's go back up here and call our function in place add subtract, pass in n. Okay, so say this, run, and there it is, right? 1, 10, 20, and then 5, 15, back and forth. 